Looking back when I've got the first injury in uh, August 2018 against uh, Middlesbrough, I think it was. Um, you know, I just got back in, uh, back in. I think it was the second game of the season, back in the team. Uh, felt good, felt really fit, um, uh, and I was just absolutely gutted uh, when that, <laughs> when that, when I turned. It was there was nothing, nothing to it. Obviously turned. Um, and yeah, it was weren't nice, but um, I had a goal in my head to kind of get back, get back for for January. Um, done all my rehab, was literally one session away from starting training again. Went to ping a ball out, twisted my knee again, <laughs> had another little operation, kept me out another few months, um, <clears throat> and then obviously worked out, worked back. Uh, and then got back in the team, had the highs of kind of coming back. Um, we was in a good position, getting the uh, two amazing wins, obviously the Sheffield United game away, um, the Middlesbrough game away, two amazing wins. Uh, so I was on a real high um, going into that, to that Reading game, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, and then obviously when that happened, um, I don't even know. To be fair, when it when it happened, I didn't know if I did my knee or my foot. Um, I kind of trod down, heard heard a crack. And I knew I knew I'd done something serious, and um, yeah, that was that was a horrible moment. Came back in in, in the tunnel, you know. Uh, there was tears. Um, everyone was obviously didn't really know what to say to me. I just kind of put a towel on my head, and uh, my missus came down. She was crying and. Yeah, it weren't good, um, but that's life, you know. You face these, you face challenges, and um, it's not. It's it's all about how you can can react from them. Um, uh, and I like to think I've I've done that in, in the right way. You know, I've always tried to keep my energy up, keep my spirits up, um, uh, keep keep supporting my teammates however I can, uh, and. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people I couldn't have done it without, you know, um, the, the the physios, the sports scientists, the my teammates, um, the staff, you know, um, uh, my family, everyone. So, a uh, big thank you to everyone, you know, the fans also. Uh, they all the way through both my injuries, they've 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 been messaging me all the way through and. Whenever I see them, you know, wishing me well, and uh, yeah, big thank you to, to everyone for that. The first injury I got, to be fair, you know, my head, I was, I was actually all right. I was actually in a in a better place because uh, I thought, you know, I've got an injury. I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna try and get back for January. Um, obviously, I think I found the the second injury hardest just because I'd been out so long and I'd I'd really worked so hard to get back to to that point. Um, uh, and the second injury, like that, hit me quite hard. You know, there was times when I was like to my missus, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, like stuff like that. You know what I mean? So um, obviously, them thoughts aren't nice. Uh, um, my kids as well. They, they, <laughs> I was basically on crutches for six months or whatever. I couldn't really play with them, so they, they weren't really enjoying daddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so out that was hard as well. So um, yeah, it's that was. That was tough, but like I said, I've had amazing people around me and the support's been amazing and um, yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> the first injury I had, uh, the medical staff, you know, we started off with, on the knee. I, I was actually on a, on a machine for, to keep my knee moving. I was on a machine for two or three months and I had to stay on the sofa. Sounds, sounds nice, but it isn't after a while. Um, it basically bent my knee up and down for eight hours of the day so I had to literally sit on my sofa my knee moving like this slower than that for eight hours of the day so as you can imagine with two little boys that, <laughs> that, weren't, that weren't too fun um, uh, yeah that was that was probably the hardest bit and then we moved on started progressing walking uh, got rid of one crutch got rid of the other crutch uh, then you go outside all of that stuff. Um, and then with the second injury, it was more a case of, um, so I had a, a like a pin put in, in my, into my foot. 
um, and it was a case of I couldn't do anything really for the first few months. Um, so I just had to completely rest that while the while while the bone and everything healed back together. Um, so after when I when I done that, I got married in the summer as well. So that was interesting uh, on the crutches. You know, it was, it was, we had to we had to adapt a little bit. Got some black crutches to go with my suit. Um, but no, nah, it was all good. It was an amazing day. Um, and then after that, it was it was kind of head down. What can I do now to 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 get myself get myself in the fittest place possible? You know, so the physios told me to look at my diet, make sure I'm eating the right foods because I'm not doing as much. Um, you know, I started off doing doing upper body stuff in the gym. Um, started walking without crutches. Had another operation to take the pin out after I walked for a couple of weeks without crutches. Uh, so then I had to go back on crutches for one week. Then after that, that week, it was, uh, it was, that was when it started to really uh, progress with the physios. They started to move me on uh, quite quickly at that point because everything kind of was healed from the x-rays when I got the pins out. They was, they was happy with it. So um, they started to progress, obviously, a lot of work on the foot a lot of uh, foot strengthening exercises, strengthening up the legs, um, uh, f moving on to jumping, landing, all that kind of stuff. Then up to the pitches. Um, kicking a ball was quite a hard one, to be fair. Um, that was quite hard. The first few weeks kicking a ball, it wasn't too comfortable. Um, so I had to kind of get through that barrier. Yeah, it was a case of you have to get used, kind of used your foot used to it again because it hasn't had any impact. Um, so it's just a case of trusting the physios because they know what they're talking about, you know, because I'm kicking the ball and thinking that's, that's, that's sore, do you know what I mean? Like, that, but they said you, you have to kind of go through that um, and it will ease off, which it obviously has. So um, it's just about trusting them. They're just, they're, they, they know what they're talking about and they're absolutely amazing at, at what they do. So um, yeah, just uh, grateful we've got such a good uh, department and um, yeah, got me back to, to this point. Like I said, speaking to my wife um, and there was times where it crossed my mind kind of like, oh, am I gonna ever kind of be able to play again, you know, after going through um, four operations, like a, a lot of people don't come back from two major injuries, do you know what I mean? So, you start to question yourself, you start to question it, but um, like I said, I, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get it, get through it without um, people like my wife, my family, all the people at the club. Um, uh, they, they, whenever I even considered saying something like that, she just automatically told me, shut up, get on with it, um, and get your head back down, you can do it. And um, I think a massive thing was when you got Obviously, I've got two boys, so I wanted to show them, you know, never give up. And I was saying them because Otis is always like in the in the players' lounge, like, oh, like my daddy plays as well, like, but he's just injured. So I wanted to get back out there so he can kind of be proud of me, like. And he's absolutely loved the last few games. Like, he's just he came to the West Brom away, he came to the game on the weekend, and he's 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 loving it. So um, yeah, that that kept me going. To be back on the pitch has been amazing, you know. Obviously the the game, the first game we lost 4-1, um, but at the end of the day, it was, it was it was an amazing milestone for me, and I was I was I was proud to get back out there. Moving on to the game on Saturday, um, to be part of that 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 performance was was absolutely brilliant, um, and the, the reception I got from from the fans was just unbelievable. As soon as I came on, just felt shivers to be fair all, all around and. Um, yeah, and that was it. Was it was uh, amazing to be back out on the Ashton Gate pitch? I played so many games here, and to to be watching for such a long time has not been been fun. So um, I've worked hard, and hopefully I can uh, repay it all um, the rest of the season. I'm just I'm just trying to enjoy every moment at the moment. Um, enjoy being able to train, being able to go outside, being able to walk, being able to kick a ball. Um, you know, be around, be around such good lads in the in the, in the change room, uh, and and we've got such a good squad. We've got an opportunity, um, and uh, I want to be part of that. And um, 
you know, that's, I'm just trying to enjoy every moment.